Hello and welcome. Today we go with sprintf functions in C scripting for WinCC V7. Sprintf functions is used to transfer the value to buffer and we can make with this buffer the more elements inside scripts. Sprintf function is, is made with str is the pointer to buffer we should the result should be stored this buffer should be large enough and the format format is the same like in printf function and you can go back to printf function and check in details how we use this you have the identifier styles we we have person d x u s c Anyway, if you need the examples how to use these arguments, go to printf video on YouTube. Generally, if you talk about the printf and sprintf functions, we have the main difference. Printf function is used to display data on screen and sprintf function is transferring data to variables inside our C script. Let's go to examples inside WinCC V7. In last video about the printf functions, we did some examples how to use this. Uh, let's use this button to make the sprint function example. The first, let's delete all. As you remember, we need to create the sprintf functions inside and this function needs some elements. First one is the buffer. Buffer is char table. And let's say our char table will be 100 elements. So we have long enough to transfer data. Let's create some value. Floating point zm1. And let's say the value of this variable will be 2.991 now we put the sprintf functions and we need to remember how to use this sprint first one is the buffer buffer is very important because in the buffer we transfer data from these values we want the next one is the formatting. Format is the same like in printf functions, so we can transfer data from one point to second one and convert data to different types. So let's say we transfer data floating point because we have the ZM1 as floating and we save the result into buffer from the char table. After comma, we put our ZM1 because we want to transfer the value from ZM1 to buffer char and floating point is the format identifier. Okay, let's save this script and let's run this WinCC runtime so we say how these functions will work for us. Okay, in printf functions, if we put the button, we always have the result on our GSC diagnostic, but in S sprint functions, we don't have because we only transfer the value from one element to second to our buffer let's go and print let's uh, add some printf functions so we know our buffer is changing the value let's say printf and in this printf we will put our buffer is for example uh, chr and we can display this as the string so we use the percent s 
so we can display the string and our buffer is the string so after comma we put the chr so now we will display only the buffer we don't display zm1 the variables the floating point variables we display the buffer so we have the our buffer is 2.991000 so we have our full buffer displaying as i said we can change the formatting so we can put for example the 0 6.2 so we now have the zero on the left side of comma and we have okay let's say one place after dot and we will display this buffer now so after after we click the button we have zero 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 three dot zero because after dot we had nine nine one so we have the rounded value after we put the two after comma after dot we have 2.99 after we run we see okay now we have the zero on the left side of dot and we have 2.99 it was the simplest example let's create one more in second example let's make something different so we can say for example let's calculate some values and let's write this result into our buffer so we leave our buffer 100 is enough and now we let's create some more variables as floating point Let's create also the values. So we have ZM second 3.04 and ZM3 is 5.6. And in sprintf function we can also add some statical text into our formatting. So in this example, let's calculate some values and write this into chr buffer. As you see on screen, I put some statical text. In this buffer, we put percent %f, so we have one argument plus second argument, so percent %f and our result of this is also the floating point so now we need three arguments as you see and after comma i have only one so i need to prepare two more to have this working correctly so after this we put the zm second and zm3 or we can also make the calculation on the last arguments so we want to make the zm1 plus zm second and we want to calculate this let's let's make this example okay now we have buffer we have the statical text with arguments but let's also the print out our buffer so we know our script and our sprint f function is working correctly so after we make the our result is percent s because our buffer is the string we can display our data on gsc diagnostics so now we see that our result is is the in this buffer we put first number plus second number and on the last argument we had the first plus second let's go to script 
and let's compare data between our result on runtime and script we did in example. In this buffer we put percent %f and in this place we should put the zm1 plus okay plus second value is and we have the calculation in last ar argument we did the calculation so we could have the a lot more complicated functions and we can use this kind of stuff here on the last we did also the statical text in printf function and we displayed the string value after we put the percent %s okay so today we did the two examples one is the really easy example and second one is calculating data and transferring data into arguments inside sprintf functions and also we did also the printf functions examples during the sprint because we need to display data on screen also we can transfer this buffer the value from buffer into external tags in WinCC v7 but let's make this in another lessons in future if you have any questions about the sprintf function or printf function just give me the comments i like to answer you any questions you have Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe this channel. See you again in Friday. See you.